Hello, my name is Todd Lamley and welcome to my second update for August. I'm not going to be updating any information for my CCNA 7th edition, which I've been doing for the last two months, but I'm instead going to talk about the new Cisco certifications that Cisco announced yesterday. These are entry-level certifications and I wanted to show you where they fit in their certification model. Most of you probably watching this, or some of you, or at least not all of you, have already sur probably surpassed this as they are an entry level even before the CSENT. So um, this is a, I think that they were either trying to compete with the Network Plus or come out with some um, proprietary Network Plus type of certification with this. However, I, although I was going to ignore this uh, per se because it was so entry level, I decided not to. Um, and let me explain why. The typical path that I send people now, if they're starting off in the networking world and say, hey, I want to get into networking, I'm retraining, whatever it is, we usually, I usually send them to Network Plus or most people go to Network Plus, the CSAN, and then you know end up with their CCNA, the third exam or whatnot. Of course, Security Plus, Network Plus, this is all foundation. These are CompTIA certs, as you're aware, I'm sure. Um, but we need a good foundation coming into CSAN and CCNA. They expect us to have some networking background, one to three years or so. And the Network Plus, although it provides a very good background in a non-proprietary manner, um, it's not necessarily entry level for someone that's never <laughs> heard about networking. I know you're like, oh, that's not true. I took the Network Plus years ago and I didn't even study. That's gone. Those days are gone. So anyways, the Network Plus is is much more in-depth today than it was. So it's not a joke certification. But with that being said, that's not what this is about. We want to get, let's find out what's between the Network Plus and the Cisco stepping stone approach towards your CCIE. And these are called the Cisco Certified Technician. So there's different ones, routing and switching, data center, and telepresence. One of the first things they made very clear is if you're going to get a data center, certified uh, Cisco certified technician or telepresence, you must have your RNS. So they took the same approach um, towards the CCNA concentrations and CCNP is you must have your CCNA. This is the same thing. Basic routing and switching. Now this gets pretty basic. Let me go to their website and just read to you some of these basics. Uh, identify Cisco equipment and related hardware. Now this one's going to sound bad, but identify Cisco products by logo marking and model number. Now, I was talking to some people on my forum today and I was like, this sounds ridiculous. Why would, you know, but then we started, one of the guys brought up about all the fraudulent equipment, you know, um, that's coming into the country from China and other places. It's not real Cisco gear. And so being able to identify it, um, one of the guys on my forum says at their company, they have a person that works full time just to identify um, you know, fraudulent equipment that's not real Cisco equipment. That's how that's how bad it is. So with that being said, um, that made me think a little bit more. But we go in and, and they're asking questions like, what is about FTP? How do you configure TFTP? What does this CSU, DSU do? Um, these are all basic routing and switching terms. So if you were to have your CCNA or something like that, this would be pretty easy. But they also have some things that we don't have on there, like identify a null modem cable. Um, loopback plugs, and how do you configure a modem, the auxiliary port. We don't really cover that in the CCNA or even CSAM. We assume that everyone coming to those courses already know that. So this course is going to give us some really basic foundation. So when would this be used? Someone has absolutely zero experience. They're coming in. They either get their Network Plus. They say, I want to just be Cisco-centric and come to the Cisco Certified Technician routing and switching. And then from there, you can go to the CCNA or CSENT and there's no requirement that you have to have these before you go to the CCNA, of course. So the next one is the data center technician. And this one's, a, this one's, a, and these are the ones that kind of caught my attention on all this because I was thinking, wow, they're routing and switch and identify FTP and all that. Well, uh, you know, I was thinking they could do Network Plus and then I thought, well, maybe that's a competitor. They wanted to do a proprietary competitor. But then again, when we get to here, there is no entry level courses and Cisco doesn't have courses on any of these. Uh, there's some online training that I'll be providing and possibly some training on this, but there's no Cisco authorized training for any of these courses. Anyway, so um, this has this is going to be talking about what I liked about this data center one is we're going to learn about the Nexus. 
how to log into Nexus. Most people haven't even seen Nexus and it's it's huge. People ask me all the time, do you do Nexus training? I'm like, I'm going to, I'm going to, but um, I wanted to get some books out and this might be one of the first ones that I write as an introduction, like saying, hey, you know, here, start with this. You've never seen it before. Uh, the Nexus 2000, 5000, 7000, 9000. And you have to know the difference in the chassis and, and so on. So, you know, this actually isn't a bad cert for someone to start with and say, really identifies the different chassis and so on. Because as we get into the further uh, data center certifications with CCNA, CCNA and NP and IE and so on, um, they don't do that. They just assume you already know that. So there's some really pretty great um, information I think that's going to be provided in this class. Uh, and then the next one is the telepresence, which is going to help us have an introduction to VoIP. So again, if we have absolutely zero VoIP, um, you know, going into the CCNA and CCNA voice is the first path Cisco had. And you already expected to know some terms and so on. So it's the same thing as people coming into my CCNA. Like, oh, I can do the CCNA. I worked on my, my father's LAN or, you know, whatever. And it's not the same thing. And the same thing with this VoIP. They want you to understand the different types of hardware. General VoIP technology, Cisco Unified Communication Manager, hardware and software for telepresence, um, the different types of telepresence, 3,000, um, uh, 1,500 series and, and others, and then service-related knowledge, HTTP and physical connections from laptop to primary codec device port. So I, I found some value in some of this. I thought that's pretty interesting. There might be something, you know, I was thinking I could put together here, either as one book or three smaller books, you know, or maybe just online training with, with eBooks. This is standby because I'll be doing something. I just don't know when. But so I thought these are a really good start for someone that's not, does have no experience whatsoever and needs to retrain. So uh, again, if you already have your CCNA, uh, but you have no Nexus experience, Finding information out about the Cisco Certified Technician Data Center or you have no VoIP experience when using the Cisco Certified Technician Telepresence, you know, online courses or something might not be a bad way to start because I'm telling you, when you go to these CCNAs, they do not start at the beginning. They're pretty tough. All right. Now, so as we know that there is no prerequisites to anything except for CCNA concentrations as CCNP. So the minimum cert you have to have with Cisco is CCNA. Then you can go on to the CCNA concentrations and professionals, which I'll show you next. So typically, uh, one other thing, you must have this RNS, as I mentioned, and to go to the data center and telepresence. And you know, um, you have to go to the CCNA before you could say, I'm gonna go to CCNA um, service provider or CCNA voice. You still have to come up here and go through the CCNA. There's no way around it. Uh, they really want you to have foundation and routing and switching. And I don't think that that's wrong. So. Um, here, I, here I wrote down the, the exam numbers for you and uh, the different test numbers and names. And then really, if you, again, no experience, come up here, go to CSENT and then CCNA. And then we'll go here to once we get our CCNA. And the only thing that's required from Cisco is starting on the CCNA up. These are required. These ones below are just going to help you get to the CCNA. And, you know, for any of you people out there that know other people say, oh, I just want to get my CCNA, you really need to push them towards Network Plus or the Cisco Certified Technician routing and switching, you know, get some basic information. If anyone's been through the CCNA and NP, we know how tough that is. We talk about my form all the time, you know, so, um, but we have to be able to get to, these are called the concentrations. And after you leave the concentrations, then you can get to the professional levels, except for the CCNA routing and switching, you can go directly to CCMP routing and switching. Okay, so again, just to recap, these are new entry level certifications are not required to go to CCNA. Kind of wish that they were, um, so I'd make sure people had a better foundation when going into my book or my courses and so on. They walk in with absolutely zero knowledge. You know how tough that is. Okay, so now we know that after we go to the CCNA, we're going to hit the concentrations if we're hitting the service provider security wireless or voice professionals or directly into the NP. From here, this would lead into our CCIEs. So these are a great stepping stone approach. So I really do recommend taking a look at when more products come out. And I think it's going to be a few months before you start seeing products or books, if any books. Uh, we'll see on the um, certified technicians. But I'm really excited kind of about the Nexus and writing an intro, inter, introductory book about Nexus and about their voice technologies. Uh, I think those are well needed in the industry 
And a lot of people ask me for them. And it's going to be a great precursor for my new books that will come out on those, which will be CCNA related. And then I'm working with some other CCIEs on some professional level uh, books and videos. Okay. So I hope that I answered all your questions about these new certifications. And you can always get a hold of me at my form at lamley.com forward, forward slash form. And uh, we're, we ha I have the best form in the world. If you don't believe me, come out and check it out. So please uh, feel free to comment on this and let me know if you have any questions. And we'll talk to you soon.